Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, wherever you are in the world. Praise God, praise God. I am looking at the verse, um, 3 John chapter 1, verse 11, and it says, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil had not seen God. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm just going to get straight into this live. Um, it was so crazy because I didn't go to bed till about maybe 11-ish or 12-ish. And God woke me up about maybe two, three hours ago. I'm not even really knowing. And I kept hearing him say, um, holy, holy, holy. God is a holy God. God still requires holiness. He said, in this hour, and this is where this comes from, um, I'm going to read it again. He said, beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God. I need y'all to hear me. But he that doeth evil had not seen God. Point blank in the story. God is saying evil is increasing in this hour like never before. He said, count the cost. Make good decisions. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Especially if you say you a woman of God or a man of God, then you shouldn't be partaking in anything that's evil. Oh, come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, reprove that which is evil. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. We have to return to holiness. If the world is messed up because the church is messed up, meaning that we have to return to the oracles of God. If it's not about God, then we shouldn't be doing it. Period. End of story. Too many worried about what another person think. Too many trying to be status quo. Too many clicks and too many tricks. God says, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He say, choose in this hour. Choose who you will serve. Thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to serve God or mammon, but you cannot serve both. He say, in this hour, there are too many straddlers. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You say you love. God. You say you want God, but you don't operate like God. I just said what I said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God didn't say for you to be perfect, but he says, give me your very best. Oh, come on, somebody. You give that best to that man. You give that best to that woman. You give that best to that job. You give that best to, uh, hallelujah, them hobbies or whatever else you want to do. Hallelujah. The only time people want to give their best to God is when something happens, God says. He says, but pray to me before it happens. He said, come on, somebody, hallelujah. We got to walk this thing out every day, not just on Saturday, not just on Sunday, not just on Bible study night. Every night, every day, get up praising the Lord. Get up thanking the Lord. Get up, hallelujah, understanding who God is. This, this is a daily walk. Hallelujah. Every day, every hour. Hallelujah. Thanking them, praising them, giving them glory. Hallelujah. Learning how to treat each other. You know, I, I didn't really elaborate on it, but when I went to Glen Hills Middle School in Augusta, Georgia last week um, with the mentorship program, the Ladies of Excellence, I, I didn't tell you. I asked the girls, I said, what are your goals? You know, short term, long term goals. And there was one that stood out. She said, you know what? Now, this she was 14 years old, you guys. She was 14 years old. Guess what she said? I just want to learn to be a better person. I'm going to reiterate that. She says, 14 years old now. She says, I want to learn to be a better person. That's a 14-year-old girl talking. How about you, said the Lord? How old are you? Have you do you have the same um, language? I, I want to learn to be a better person because that's what it's all about. We are not perfect. Don't get it twisted. I'm sorry there was only one, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. However, every day you're supposed to strive towards perfection, being the best version of you. God, what do you say? God, show me how to do this thing. God, strengthen me in every area of my life. Come on, somebody. You got to pray yourself through. And it's not going to be easy because guess what? I am learning as we walk this walk because I, I, I'm scared of people that have arrived because as long as you are in on this earth come on somebody you are learning you are learning and discerning come on somebody hallelujah and, and every day god keep me god strengthen me god prove me god correct me god rebuke me hallelujah god inspect me god check me whatever it takes to be the best version that you want me to be lord hallelujah to his name and therefore, by you being the best version of you, then you can encourage your brother and your sister. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But some of you, just to be honest with you, you want to do what you want to do, how you want to do what you want to do. And you get what you get. And then you're crying. Because because let me tell you what happens. We don't live the way God wants us to. And then when something happens, we blame God. 
That is not of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is the way we're supposed to live this Christian life. God, before you make any decisions, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm so serious. I don't live my life without God. Anybody that have gotten too close to me, they will tell you, I will go to God. I don't care if it's something small. God, should I do it? I don't move without God. Like, you know how y'all be seeing me go places? I don't go without God. I can't. I, I'm too anointed. I'm too anointed. I'm not trying to be arrogant. I'm too anointed. So any move that I make without God, I'm by myself. And I can't afford that. Come on, somebody, because they got too many demons out in this world. What am I saying? Child of God, man of God, woman of God, young lady of God, young man of God, you can't afford to move without God. You can't afford to move without God. You need God every day and every hour. God, should I go? God, who should I be with? God, who is my friend? Who is not? Come on, somebody. I don't move without God. And I'm going to say something on here that I didn't say the other day. Yeah, I'm going here. So, oh man, I didn't know he was going to make me go here, but I should know by now, right? Let me tell you something. I'll cut it off too. In God, without God, you don't live. Let me clarify myself. When I came here on last Thursday, I was very um, disappointed. I'm going to say it like that. And I'm going here. I'm going here. I'm, I got to go here. And it's not to try to out nobody, but I just tell the truth. That's what I'm guilty of, the truth. And I'm going to be guilty. So, anywho, um, I had two friendships, 18 years plus. Oh, y'all better listen to me. 18 years plus. You know, I severed those relationships here in California. I sure did. That's where they're going to stay, right here. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I guess they were used to the old Deanna, you know. Um, and I'm going to be transparent on purpose because I'm going somewhere. You know, um, one of them we used to party and drink together. So when I got saved, oh, Deanna, you're not fun no more. Deanna, you're not this. Deanna, you're not that. The other one, I don't know what's us, whatever, you know. And so I was like, God, what is going on? God said, you have outgrown them. Oh, you all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm not trying to put no shots on nobody. I'm trying to talk to you about something. I actually was so hurt. I couldn't cry. I was that hurt. I couldn't cry. I said, God, that's 18 years. He said, but guess what? I want you to go back to the beginning. Was it ever right? Y'all ain't ready for me. I said, God, you know what? You're right. There, there was always something going on. He said, because here's the deal. We get comfortable in being uncomfortable. Oh, I just said something. You, you, come on, somebody. If you just focus it on my situation, then you missed it already. We get comfortable in being uncomfortable in things that God didn't really tell us to do. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As you go through this life. And look, that doesn't mean people are bad. So, so let me clarify this. That doesn't mean, oh, people are bad and we so good. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, as you grow in the Lord, as God take you from level to level to level, what you're going to learn is that everybody can't level up. I just say what I said. That means God is taking you on a path and you got to stay on that path. It doesn't matter who or what or when or how. Come on, somebody. I got to move when God moves, just like that. I got to go where God said, just like that. I got to do what God said, just like that. I just said something. Come on, somebody. And everybody can't go with you. Everybody can't flow with you. I just said something. Hallelujah. Because this next level, I'm going to tell you right now, you can't miss God. You can't miss God. You can't afford to miss God because you didn't pray too much. You didn't suffer too much. You didn't sacrifice too much. They didn't talk about you too much. They didn't love you too much. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you can't afford to not to do what God have called you to do. Hallelujah. So you got to be strong in the Lord in this hour. And you're going to need God for that next step, that next promotion, that next blessing, that next miracle. You're going to need him. You can't do this without God. And that's why some people wear themselves out. Because to, to be honest with you, Christians are very strong people. We've had to be all our lives. Come on, somebody. True Christians, we've been through hell. Oh, come on, somebody. From a little girl or a little boy, we've been through some hell. So we some survivors. Anywho. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. However, because of the anointing that is on our life, we need God. Oh, come on, somebody. We need our angels. We need to move with wisdom and discernment. We need to move when God say move. We need to stay when God say stay. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And don't ever go before God. Hallelujah. Because God is taking you somewhere. And guess what? It's going to be a blessing. Oh, you're going to go through some stuff. Oh, come on, somebody. It is required. Oh, hallelujah. Because the enemy, oh, the Bible says in Psalm 23, I bless you in the presence of your enemies. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all acting like y'all don't understand that. Everywhere you go is going to be an enemy. Everywhere you move is going to be an enemy. Everywhere you look is going to be an enemy. Everywhere you are is going to be an enemy. Sometimes in your own house, I just said something. Y'all better rise above that foolishness. Because let, let me let me finish that story so y'all don't understand. I promise you, I handled everything with grace. I didn't I didn't get mad. I nah, I did say what I had to say. Y'all know me. Oh, I'm gonna say what I have to say. Cause if you ain't right, you ain't right. I don't care who you are. It could be me. Hallelujah. 
So I handle everything with grace. I, I need to end that story. Everything was with grace. Because God will show you how to handle with grace, how to move with grace. Because how can you say that you are a leader or you are anointed man and woman of God and you don't operate with grace? I just said something. Hallelujah. You have to do things the way God say to do them. You can't move in the flesh. I just say something. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, man of God, woman of God, this is your season. Let me tell you something. God is doing something in the body of Christ, but you have to move when God moves. Most people are complacent and they move when they want to move. No, you can't be lazy in this season. When God say move, move. God, I'm tired. God, I'm tired. God, I'm tired. God, strengthen you. Come on, somebody. Because I know sometimes it's, it gets tiresome. I know sometimes you get discouraged. I know sometimes you feel alone. I know sometimes you don't understand what's happening. I know sometimes you like, oh God, when? When is my blessing coming? I know you got me, but uh, I, I need that like yesterday. Oh, come on, somebody. I said something. We have to learn and depend and trust on God like never before. Because God is not a liar, people of God. Those that are waiting for a miracle, those that, those that are waiting for a blessing, those that are waiting for your children to be saved, your husband to be saved, your family to be saved. God say all you got to do is continue to stand in the gap. That's why you're getting hit. I just said something. Because you're standing in the gap for everybody. So you're going to get hit first. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got to keep on moving, God says. He says, because I got you. I'll strengthen you. I'll keep you. I'll restore you. I'll restore revive you. I'll make you thrive like never before, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. This stuff real. So I want to get up on here and encourage you because these are some discouraging times. I mean, everywhere you look is evil going on. Everywhere you look, somebody died. Come on, somebody. Y'all know what time it is. We in revelation, whether you like it or not, and things are going to get topsy and turvy, and it's going to get worse. I know y'all don't like to hear. So guess what? You better get stronger in the Lord, said the Lord. He said, learn of me. Learn of my ways. He said, strengthen yourself. Gird yourself. Strengthen your hands for war. Hallelujah. We in a war. In case some of you haven't got the memo, we in a war. So what do you do in war? You train. And how do you train? Because you train under the soldier of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. God showed me how to move. God showed me how to talk. God showed me how to walk. God showed me how to stand. And when I'm weak, God strengthened me some more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It ain't going over. He never said it was going to be easy, people. He never said that. But he did say, I'll be with you, low, even into death. And forgive. I got to tell y'all something. You got to forgive. Too many of y'all get angry and frustrated and, and they hurt me. They go, they supposed to hurt you. People do just what they're supposed to do. Oh, I just said something. You, you expecting them to do something different. Have they ever done something different? I just said something. Oh, hallelujah. It is the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth all day long. People will show you who they are. Believe them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But God said the victory is yours. Just stand, stand, stand. And when you see, when you've done all you can, he say, stand some more. He said, because I got you. And if I did it before, I'll do it again. But guess what? Thank you, Lord. I hear you. He says, consistency. People, you have to be consistent. I didn't say perfect. When you, when you fall, repent, get back up. But be consistent, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And walk in love more. Because people, people are just mean. You don't have to be mean to be strong. To be honest with you, you're stronger when you say, you know what? I didn't do that right. Please forgive me. I repent. People don't want to do that anymore. Hallelujah. Strength comes from doing the right thing. Not for acting ugly and being mean to people. That is not of God. Come on, somebody. The world does that. The world thinks that's funny. Um, talking about people, mocking people, hating people, killing people. That's not the nature of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that you are encouraged. I pray that you are strengthened. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and I'm just going to decree and declare. I decree and declare that you are the men and women of God that he have called you to be, ordained you to be, sustained you to be. I pray blessings over every last one of you, those that are on here and those that will listen. I pray strength in the name of Jesus Christ, wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ, discernment in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that your family is saved. Everything you touch, hallelujah, shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Those that are weak, you should be strengthened. Hallelujah. Those that are have a heavy heart, oh God, going to put jaw on you and peace. I I send peace. I send peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so as a servant of God, as a prophet of God. Hallelujah. I speak those things into your life and they shall not return to you void. Hallelujah, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is real. Hallelujah. I speak these things and I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I say the blood. It's the blood. That's why they met. The blood still has power. The blood still has power. The blood still has power, said the Lord. Hallelujah. 
You remember who you are. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And I seal this prayer in the precious blood of the Lamb by saying, Amen, 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 in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Be blessed. Be strengthened. Be encouraged. Walk in power. Oh, hallelujah. Luke 10, 19. Know your authority, people. Know your authority, people. Know your authority, people. Walk in authority. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.